Oh, we were said to the farmer, you'd better treat me right. I'll eat up all your cotton, sleep in your grain every night. Sleep in your grain every night. Cotton has been grown around the world for thousands of years. Cotton agriculture, fueled by slave labor, became a staple of the American South. By the Civil War, approximately one billion pounds of cotton were harvested each year. Don't you see that spot? He's running up and down the wall. Don't you think he's going to get his ashes down? Get his ashes down. Boll weevils migrated north from Mexico in the late 1800s. Natural predators were ineffective against these beetles. In a single growing season, one mating pair of weevils can result in as many as two million offspring through several generations. After the Civil War, most cotton plantations were converted to sharecropping. But by the 1920s, all cotton-growing regions in the southeast were infested. Production fell below one quarter of earlier levels, and the southern agricultural economy nearly collapsed. Don't see no fire, but I'm burning down. Don't see no water, but I'm about to drown. But I'm about to drown. In response to the failing cotton industry, farmers began to diversify their crops to include peanuts, soybeans, sorghum, and tobacco. Tobacco was more than four times as profitable to grow as cotton, and marketing by the tobacco industry greatly increased worldwide demand. Oh, you said to the farmer, you better treat me right. I'll eat up all your cotton, sleep in your grain every night, sleep in your grain every night. A statue honoring the boll weevil was erected in Enterprise, Alabama, recognizing that the weevil's devastating effect on cotton led to agricultural diversification and was ultimately far better for the southern economy. 